Road crews and emergency workers were keeping busy digging out or cleaning out after a rainstorm often compared to Tropical Storm Irene dumped up to eight inches of rainfall across southern Vermont starting on Sunday, July 9th. The rain continued on through Monday, July 10th, and in several places, rivers and streams crested early Tuesday morning. The sun was out on Tuesday, the 11th, helping to dry things out, but that only helped bring the extent of the storm into clearer focus. Hardest hit were some of the mountain towns, especially Weston and Londonderry, which were all but cut off after severe damage was inflicted on several roads leading in and out of those communities. Farther north, Ludlow was also severely flooded. Town officials are urging motorists to take seriously the road closed signs and avoid unnecessary travel in areas most severely impacted by the flooding. On Sunday, Governor Phil Scott declared a state of emergency, calling in swift water and rescue assets from states with which Vermont has a mutual aid agreement. State officials have also urged residents to evacuate their homes if there's a threat of high water nearby and to operate generators safely with an eye towards preventing carbon monoxide poisoning. You can sign up for up-to-the-minute weather alerts at vem.vermont.gov backslash vtalert. For the GNAT-TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.